All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios, and in front of you is the new Econ build. Now, I know I do a bunch of these things, but here's the difference. One of the reasons I was doing this is because we're going to build four identical rifles. These I've got four of these, believe it or not. Uh, we're going to take them out, and we are going to test them using the multiple different levels of, of ammo. I want to go big shout out to the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics. These guys right here are a new sponsor of the channel and uh, they sent me some ammo out to test. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But along with that, with these guys right here, this is 55 grain. We're gonna go ahead and blast some uh, IWI uh, or IMI 62 grain, green tips. And, and I've still got a bunch of these guys right here. These are the MagTech 77 grains. This is what I use a lot in competition. And the guys from Callaway Ballistics, I just told them, I said, listen, uh, for specialized uh, ammunition, 77 grain, a lot of competitors, a lot of people use those things. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to take this guy out. I've got it topped off with a primary arms. This is the 416. This is the GLX with the ACSS reticle in it. I like that reticle because it does have the chevron. Good point. It's a great starting point to go ahead and test the accuracy. So we're going to level the scope on this rifle, and I'm just going to take it with the American Defense scope mount and take it from one rifle to the other. When we get it out there, we're going to do things like See what the delta, the difference is between the trigger pull between all these. All of them got the same lower parse kit, the CMMG lower parse kit. It's kind of cool. Uh, out of the four kits, only th was missing three springs <laughs> and, and a couple of the little uh, D10 springs for the rear takedown pin or the front takedown pin, whatever you want to do. So real quickly, let's go over here a parts list. Really, we've got a uh, Bravo B5 stock. Now I bought the majority of these things from either Big Daddy Unlimited or Optics Planet. Uh, got the stock from uh, Big Daddy Unlimited, went ahead and it is using a Luth AR rear buffer tube spring and buffer kit. I will tell you this, and it's got the uh, Delta or the, the uh, base plate and the uh, castle nut right here. I didn't uh, stake any of these things, but I will tell the anodizing on these are top notch. Uh, the Bolt carrier is the nitride bolt carrier from the guys over there at Palmetto State Armory. When those things went on sale, I went ahead and I bought four of them with the idea that I was going to build four identical rifles. Now listen, a lot of people are like, man, I wish I had the money to do this or I got more priorities things. I do too. Uh, I actually took over a year to put these parts together just from buys and here and there. The um, So the bolt carrier groups are the nitride Pal Palmetto State Armory. The charging handle is just some generic charging handle that is a Raptor knockoff I bought from the guys over there at Classic Firearms. The upper receiver is from uh, Optics Planet, KB32 TAC, uh, for a 5% discount over there But those guys. Uh, also, if y'all wait, I am getting a discount code from the guys over there at Callaway. They're going to give me send it that. As soon as we do that, I'll go ahead. I can't wait to see what this, these rounds do because, yes, we do still have that proof research barrel upper that we're putting together. And, yeah, that thing's bad to the bone. Uh, the uh, upper, stripped upper receiver, this right here, uh, is actually from uh, Wilson Combat. Now, I got those on a deal a long time ago from the guys over there at Optics Planet. Anderson, lower uh, gun tech. These are great economical uh, hand guards. I love them. Uh, good barrel nut involved on those things. Uh, I'm a Yankee Hill fan, so we got all, all my gas blocks, unless it's an adjustable, which is either going to end up being a superlative, or I've got a really special deal that we've got coming up that we're going to be doing reviews on here shortly. Uh, this thing's got a mid length gas system in it. Now, I believe these are carbine. That's good. The barrels all came from Bear Creek Arsenal. I bought these. I think they were on sale for about $99 a piece. And I got the Yankee Hill. This is their Phantom Flash Suppressor, which I think for a duty rifle is probably the best. Uh, nice thing is I bought a bunch of UTG handguards. They all came with the uh, pick rails down below. So they're all, all these are going to get those pick rails. So I can all I got to do is take and, well, well, I thought I could. I'm going to have to get a pliers. We'll go ahead and we're going to shoot from the bipod uh, using a rest on the back uh, out at Mifflin County Sportsman Association just to see how what the accuracy is. And what the cool thing is, is let's take the same ammo so that we can do uh, see if there's a difference between these rifles and how they were set up. Uh, we're also going to 
check the trigger pulls. This particular one, the trigger pull is exceptionally smooth on it. Um, I thought about going ahead and trading these things out to the uh, SLK or, uh, with the Magpul because I can get those for like uh, 28 bucks. Okay, a little bit of my phone anyway. But uh, these do have the QD attachment points back here, and I do have a bunch of QD attachment points I can do, so I can go ahead and throw a sling on them if I need me. The idea is that I built build rifles. That's what I do, man. I put these things together, build with through a concept, try to figure out exactly what I want to do. And like I said, I've built some of the highest end stuff that I can put together, and this is an economic brand. I'm going to go ahead and put a parts list together. You're going to find it over there at kb32tac.com. I'll uh, probably try to get that done this evening. We're going to take these guys out, and like I said, we're going to go ahead and put them side by side. Um, five round shot groups with each one of these ammos. I'm not going to worry about breaking in the barrel or trying to get the uh, copper equilibrium to build in, but in any case, this is going to be fun. Uh, the rifle as it is, how does it perform? Hell, if it even does perform. We go ahead and do a series of uh, functions tests, uh, single round, lock back, uh, double round feed, and then a triple where we can go ahead and just throw three rounds to see if it performs as it was supposed to be, if it's ejecting properly, those kind of things. But with that being said, guys, I can't wait to go ahead and show you this. I wanted to do a real quick video, get the politics out of the way. A lot of cool things going on. It looks like Chipman is going to the uh, the chipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's good boy 32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have it done so support red white and blue god bless america god bless men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom is not free man i can't wait to get this thing out and test it not bad and it's not heavy either very nice kb32 i'm out of here y'all be good boom